Okay YouTube, what I'm working on today is one of my DIY projects I've been meaning to get to for a while, experimenting a little bit with uh, aquaponics, an aquaponics system. What I've done so far is set up a small aquarium tank on my back patio. I've set up two bubble sticks in there just because this aerator pump has uh, two lines to it. Um, I'm bubbling the chlorine out of the water right now, I just use tap water and I'll be adding some fish to this tank later on today. Uh, what I'm planning to do is do a styrofoam float bed on top and uh, with just pots in it and probably grow lettuce and some floating plants. I'm trying to complete this project mostly from materials I have laying around the house. So I took some extra styrofoam insulation board I had in the garage and then I thought it was a toss-up between the clear uh, punch glasses or the solo cups uh, to use as grow pots um, or net pots, homemade ones. So what I did, I needed to cut out the right size circles and basically I just traced a circle around both the solo cups and the punch cups which both ended up being the same size and then I traced the inner diameter of each one as well or the inner uh, circle around each one, traced it out and figured out I needed about a three inch circle um, what ended up being the perfect size was a tin can from the pantry. So I emptied out a tin can and used my heat gun here to heat up the can and a hot pad uh, and just went ahead and melted it that way. So for, demonstration, so for demonstration purposes, I've heated up this can. What you do is you just heat it up real hot, push it down on the foam board, push it all the way through give it a little twist and then I'll have to break it out and so when we remove the can gotta use two hands here leaves us a nice clean hole in the styrofoam for our cups okay so that brings us back to the aquarium out here we've got our foam board or lettuce wrap cut so let's check our fit here it should slide just inside the tank so that it actually floats on the water and it does Okay, so with that in place, now we're taking to making the net pots out of the solo cups, which I've chosen to be best for the job. So basically, I'm just going to take a hot soldering iron here, I'm going to melt a series of holes. I figured this was better than trying to drill holes because the plastic is kind of brittle and it might break or tear. And this seems to work really well and efficiently. Okay, so I've finished going around the cup. I've got holes all the way around it and the top. So this should allow uh, plenty of room for the roots to uh, grow and move through the holes. So now we're going to test these cups in our raft up here. They fit pretty nicely down in there. So here we are with all of our uh, grow pots or net pots that we've made on top of the floating raft for the aquarium. Uh, I've got it under a shaded portion of my patio uh, so that it doesn't get too much sun. I don't want the fish to overheat during the daytime. I'm going to try to get some heat tolerant fish to put in here and hopefully we can create a sustainable system. Okay, so a little bit of follow up on yesterday. I've actually got the tank set up now with uh, three goldfish, an algae eater, and a snail in there just for starters. Um, I tested the water yesterday and it had a very high pH. I got it down to a neutral 7.0 uh, reading and added some aquarium rocks to the bottom of the tank. Um, my clay pebbles came in yesterday so I went ahead and uh, started out with these plants uh, that are not seeded from seed. I went ahead and got some plants and washed the soil from the roots. Uh, put them in the clay pebbles just to start out and kind of test this system a little bit. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of trial and error at first. Um, now this one I did start from seed. That's an avocado and it's actually got a root down to the bottom of the cup already. But it was started about a month and a half ago. Uh, it's been just sitting in the windowsill in a cup of water. So I've got rosemary, uh, spearmint, 
these two are little plugs of rosemary that I got off of that that hopefully they will take and uh, start growing and then of course basil uh, and this is just kind of the beginning of it I'm going to start some seeded uh, lettuce here in the next couple of days and see if I can add that somehow to this system if these start to do okay.